Hey again guys and welcome back. In front of me I've got five packages so it's time for another mailbag. Let's get to it. First one up is this guy and this one was ordered November 12th, arrived December 1st, $15.78. Hey, hey, sweet. Let's take a look at this. So what this thing is, is the cheapest RC car speed controller I could possibly find on eBay that had a reasonable amount of current. I think this is an 80 amp max. So that would be um, 80 amps sort of uh, instantaneous. I don't think it can do 80 amps uh, like full time all the time. But uh, this thing, they say it's even waterproof. I don't know about that, but whatever. That's what they say. So basically, you've got uh, three wires here, and these wires go to a brushless DC motor. And then you've got two wires here. These wires go to your battery. I'm going to have to um, yank these off and put um, different connections on here. I don't use Dean's connections anymore. This one here goes to your radio receiver so you can actually control the thing and this is the on and off switch and also this is supposed to be waterproof so yeah this thing is gonna be pretty fun to play with uh, I have a project where I need this in mind my um, my patreons already know what it is maybe this was a 60 amp I'm gonna put it down here on the on, in the description there Yep, yeah, all weather races, yeah, yeah, yeah. Acceleration, punch. Yeah, this thing is pretty interesting. Um, there is a program card that you can actually modify the parameters of this thing, but we may be able to make one out of an Arduino. So I think I'm going to get a couple of projects out of this one thing. So make sure you're subscribed if you want to see what's going on. Next one up is this one here, October 29th and November 16th, $4.15. Kind of a empty box. I don't. I don't know what's in here. At least I used to know when I looked it up, but now I don't remember. I'm sure it'll it'll come right up to mind when I see it. Oh yeah, I do remember. Let's take a closer look at this thing. So this thing is actually part of my quest to learn new microcontrollers in the new year. This is a ST-Link V2. Um, you use these things to program ST microcontrollers. I think there's a USB. Yep, there's a USB here. And a little bit of cable here, DuPont uh, female to female. Only four connections, but this thing has more than that. Yeah, so I don't actually know um, how to use this. I've never programmed an ST micro. Um, this is all going to be part of a learning curve and as soon as I learn it all well I'm going to be making tutorial videos um, because if I'm having if I'm finding this uh, daunting to jump into I'm not the only one uh, and if you guys feel that it's daunting make sure you're subscribed to see these uh, videos. But yeah that's going to be part of the learning thing. I basically want to try to make embedded projects, little like tiny little microcontrollers doing tiny little things, uh, stuff that an Arduino would be orders of magnitude too powerful for. And I think that um, some ST microcontrollers might be the right choice. I've got a uh, PIC programmer as well, and I think PIC, PIC might be the right choice for some of these projects. So yeah, this thing was extremely cheap, it was like $4, and if I have it in hand when I do my testing then I'm good to go. So yeah, on to the next one. Next one up, I brought these two out because these two might be related to each other if I remember what's inside. So this one was $9.79, October 31st and November 17th. This one was $3.23, October 31st to November 24th. And if I bring this up to the mic and shake it, Maybe that gives you an indication of what's in here. I'm going to open this one first. So, 
My Patreons will have already known what these are for, but these are some M3 hardware, uh, pretty long, I think they're 35 mil. We're gonna check in a moment. And these guys, I think, yes. Okay, and these are also M3, but these are washers. Let's take a closer look at these guys. So these are M3 by 45, and they are, I think, I think these are called uh, cap heads. So they're gonna be a hex on that side, threaded all the way up. And these guys are, I'm not sure if they have a specific classification, but they're made of nylon, they're plastic. And they're plastic because I'm a fairly bad designer and I need to take up some space in some stuff I've designed. My Patreons will know exactly what I'm talking about, but if they don't, I will post a picture with this in the project that I've actually started already. For those of you who don't know what that project is, you're going to have to either join Patreon or be patient. One of the two. Um, the project should be coming out January, February of 2021. And if you want a sneak preview on it, you're going to have to join Patreon. But yeah, just hardware uh, filling up the, um, you know, the stock here so I can make projects and not have to wait a couple months to get stuff. So washers, which could be used for insulation as well as what I'm going to use them for, which is uh, spacing and some M3 hardware. Nothing too, too excited. Let's get on to the last one, shall we? So this one here is the most exciting package of this whole video because this one comes from a viewer, one of you guys. I'm not sure if this viewer wants to be named, so I just put a, uh, a J there. I just left the J. And uh, this person is quite resourceful because they have a stamp for their return address. And they had another one on the back, so I had to hide two addresses there. But yeah, this is my P.O. box. If you want to send me something, you can send it there. I will definitely receive it. I don't go that often these days. It's kind of far from my house, and uh, it's in a mall. So, you know, COVID being what it is, I try to go there as little as possible. But yeah, if you want to send me stuff, that's how you get it to me. Creality, are you listening? You can send a 3D printer, just saying. I'm gonna open this up. Uh, I already know what's in here. And that's why I'm pretty excited about it, and I think you guys will be excited about it as well. Especially those of you who watched my last mailbag video. Oh my god. So, these are the coveted 18650 cells. These cells are nigh impossible to get my hands on as a Canadian, but these are salvage cells. So this, uh, this person who sent me this um, salvages them out of um, secret locations. He, 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 I mean, I'm pretty sure he doesn't want me to say where they come from because, you know, that's his supply. But he salvages them and he um, tests them and the ones that are bad, he recycles. The ones that are good, he uses for his project. So some of the ones that I got here are no good. They're, well, not no good, but um, they're less good. And some of them are decent. And so it was just a, a gift to stop me buying cheap 18650s from China or buying, you know, like I did, bought, I bought a flashlight in order to get 18650s. So now I've got tons of 18650s to mess around with. Uh, some are better than others, but I, I don't care. The price is right. This is amazing. So I want to thank you so much to set, for sending me this. I um, My eyes are like wide open with stuff I can do with these things now. I think the, uh, the best part is when companies send me kits um, that use 18650s and don't send me 18650s, and I'll have something to put in. And these guys are heat shrink, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So you slide the, the, the cell in there, and then you shrink it down with a heat gun. So that is pretty frequent sweet. I'm going to take a couple of these out. We're going to take some voltage measurements. Um, but this person that sent me this, they know what they're talking about. So I'm fairly sure 
that they're going to be in good shape. I just grabbed a random handful here and um, uh, the first thing to indicate the health of a lithium battery like this is its voltage. Uh, the storage voltage of a lithium battery is between 3.7 and 3.8 volts. Um, you can store them at higher voltages. You can actually charge them all the way up and put them away, but uh, it's supposed to reduce their life. So let's see if I can do this without getting into the way of the multimeter. Let's just start checking them. Okay, 4 4.1, 4.1, 3.89, 4.1, 3.99, 4.0. Oh, so, so far these are all alive, which is good to know. Man. So yeah, these, um, these cells come from all sorts of devices. Um, you know, they used to use these cells in laptops. I don't think they, they do anymore. I think most laptops these days are um, lithium polymer cells, so they're not uh, the cylindrical cells. They're actually um, like a pouch. Let's see. 4.1. 4.24. Oh, boy. This one's up a little high. 3.8. 4.1. Four point oh, four point one nine. Ooh, that one's almost. So usually a fully charged battery will be about four point two volts. Some of the chemistries actually have a four point one volt um, full charge state. So that is pretty neat. And uh, we've got how many? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen cells. And this is pretty exciting because I'm going to put them on the load tester and I'm going to put some of them through their paces in a future video so if you want to see that make sure you're subscribed and um, if you want to uh, thank the my mysterious J for uh, sending these cells in go into the comments say thank you mysterious J and hopefully that person goes and reads the comment section but this thing is pretty freaking sweet I am thrilled and this awesome mix of stuff makes up for today's mailbag I want to thank my patreons special thanks to those people because their support makes this all uh, worthwhile and worth it they allow me to get cool stuff keep cool stuff in stock so I can make cool projects thank you so much to mysterious J for sending me these cells they will be appearing in future videos actually probably sooner rather than later which is pretty awesome and my viewers commenters thumbs uppers I want to thank you guys for giving the algorithm something to chew on, making sure my videos get recommended. I appreciate you all. Thanks for watching.